Hello, and welcome to the Let's Play of Lost Planet 3. I'm Count Zero. And we're going to war. Is this it? Is it time to go? Is it literally okay. go time? Because listen, man, there's no going back after this. You want to tie up any loose ends, maybe line up a few more upgrades, you better see to it before we get this party started. Actually, hang on. I thought of one more Good. thing I have to finish. Okay, well, when you're wrapped up with everything you want to do with your life before you declare war on Nevik, come see me, because I'm ready to kick some. More gun upgrades I can get. Busting out the welding goggles. Right I'm walking out. I mean, I'm, I'm hopefully I'm just blocking myself off from next time, this boss. Portion, portion of the game, and I can still buy upgrades from the other shop. Cause I hadn't bought everything from there yet. Uh, What'll it be? Do I have the opportunity to talk to the other possible? Nope. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? See you later, Jim. Okay. One more rig upgrade. The armor boost sounds like a good plan. Sweet! Let's do this thing. I know how useful that one's going to be. Armor's probably going to be more useful. Okay, let's. More let's go. shielding is never a bad thing. Not with the punishment you take out there. Yep. Always a pleasure, my man. Is this it? Is it time to go? Is it literally go time? Because listen, man, there's no going back after this. You want to tie up any loose ends, maybe line up a few more upgrades. So wait, this new G thing is where pure T energy comes from? And it heals flesh? And it somehow helped the colonists survive for 40 years? Kid, if we pull this off, we'll have time to review the details on the way back to Earth. Right, right, because then we, us, you and I, are gonna hijack Eisenberg's ship and, like, not die. Look, one step at a time. First, we gotta make sure they can't call for backup. And make sure Nevek never wants to return to this planet. So you better be able to hack the relay. <laughs> I'm sure he's up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. Where did she come from? She's stealthy. You'll get used to it. Also, just out of frame is where she came from. There were no adults available. Hey, you should talk. None as smart or as loyal. Just trust me, all right? Aww. <laughs> He'll be tested soon enough. What you got there? An abundance of C4. Oh, that is so dope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, boy, Gale. He's a comic relief character, but he's a more tolerable comic relief character, and he's not as skeevy as he could be. Like, on a scale of 1 to Michelangelo to the, the uh, 2014 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, are that two loading icons ahead on screen at once? That's weird. Uh, yeah, so... Hi, Gail. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Team Jim. My name is... You talk strangely. <laughs> I'm asking your name, lady. Or girl, woman, person. Mira. 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 Is that Spanish? 
That was a long loading time for that very brief cutscene. I don't know what to ask someone from another planet, okay? <laughs> oh, this God. is new. Now, Gail, you're starting start something basic, annoying but character. apparently you guys haven't worked all that out yet. That's cool. It's only been 40 years. No hurry. You talk very strangely. Jim, is it me? You're doing great, kid. Now here, when you wrangle the direct access, here's the thing to upload for broadcast. It's something I pieced together from distress calls I've been finding. Sort of a we're all gonna die, stay away, whatever you do kind of thing? That's the gist. Nevik didn't want to come back here at all till Braddock twisted their arm. We need to make sure it's too expensive to try a third time. If there's one thing we know Nevik will respect, it's their bottom line. And then we need to kill this channel before Eisenberg can tell them all about Nushi. They hear about a mother load of pure tea energy and they'll be back no matter what. Mira, all set with the explosives? Yes. I've identified the critical supports in the structure. Should bring it right down. Okay. Damn it, they're here. It wasn't supposed to be guarded. You were expecting the military people not to recognize, oh, this is our only way to send communications off planet to guard it. Eight. Please don't have this be a duck and cover and fire while I'm scrambling. Okay. Power offline. They cut the power. We're stuck. And then I'll get us unstuck. Take cover and sit tight. No. Where am I headed? The game's not loading waypoints, so I don't know where I'm supposed to be going.
afraid to die from an opponent. So, we got here. Now oh, I got waypoints again. Shotgun slot two. Made launcher. Oh, and there's Jessica there's a music as well. System malfunction. Rebooting system. System online and ready.
Yep, it is. Gail, Mira, reactivating the tram now. Affirmative. Mm. I think you're supposed to say Roger. Jim does affirmative work too. Just get up here. Wow, grouchy. You think he just declared war on an interplanetary corporation? Wait, is this still on? Jim, I threw him over the railing. He was not required, was he? Ah, that's funny. <laughs> I like jokes about killing me. Cool. I'm nervous. Are you guys nervous? God, I'm annoying at this altitude. Take him to the relay station. Once you unlock the tram gate and retrieve your rig, I will descend on foot and cover our flank. All right, just stay in touch and don't go too far. I want you close when it's time to plant the explosives. Jim... We can do this, right? Don't you worry. Oh, hope it hurts. Nice girl. Yeah, she might think so. Do you got a boyfriend, you think? Probably got a boyfriend. Gail? Yeah? Maybe not the time. Right, right, focus. Okay, uh... You're gonna need to grab your rig and orient the satellite dish. Okay, next time, we send some transmissions.